Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Miko RC. Today we're going to do something a little different than usual. I'll be sharing my experiences of 3D printing for the first time. I've never 3D printed before. So our main focus will be printing spare parts for some RC vehicles that I have. And today I'll be showcasing what I have 3D printed so far. <laughs> I got this Creality Ender 3 Pro 3D printer from Banggood and they asked me to review it with the focus on printing spare parts for RC vehicles. Now this is my first 3D printer and I have absolutely no experience in 3D printing. So I've done a little bit of research on it and I discovered that it is a complete whole hobby on its own. This is my first experience with a 3D printer and printing RC parts. Okay so first off of course I had to assemble the printer myself. The small bolts and screws that are conveniently packaged with clear labels on them was very helpful. Now all the tools that you need to, to assemble your printer are included in the box. I found that assembling the printer was a breeze by following the provided 13 step instructions and at the same time following a YouTube assembly video. I recommend the assembly video made by RM3D Creations. It was very very useful to me and I will share that link to that video in the description below. Now, being quite excited to get some 3D printing happening, I printed off a couple of samples provided on the SD card that came with the printer. Now first I printed a little piggy bank pig using the sample white PLA filament. Things started out fine with printing the little pig until the filament being fed into the printer became tangled and snapped. That's why you can see the missing print lines at the legs of the pig as well as at the center of the body. The filament actually snapped twice. Next up, I printed a cat, also a sample provided on the SD card. I printed this using the black PLA plus filament I purchased from eBay. It was about 20 bucks a ream. I have to say the level of detail that was printed for this cat is astounding. I had no idea that this printer would be capable of 3D printing such fine details. Anyway, let's move on to printing RC spare parts. Now there's nothing worse than flipping your 144001 upside down and grazing your shocks and shock towers. First up, I want to print protectors for my 144001 or 124019. I downloaded the print files from the web and printed the protectors for both front and back and they came out nicely. I'll show you them installed on the car together with the next items I printed. The next part I wanted to 3D print is a front bumper suitable for the 144001 or the 124019. There were a few 3D print files available on the web for this, um, but here's a couple I could choose from. Now I decided to go with the bumper without the holes, and the only reason for this was so that I could customise it with my channel logo over the top of it. I am a complete newbie to 3D modelling software, so I did my best in adding my channel logo to this bumper. The 3D print result was okay. I think a bit of filing is needed to clean up the bumper, but I don't have the tool on hand at the moment. Next up is the rear wing for the 144001 or 124019. Again, I personalised it with placing my channel logo on both sides of the wing. It came out pretty small and blurred in the 3D print, but oh well, I was still happy with the result. So I've decided to install the three newly 3D printed parts onto my 124019. 
As mentioned earlier, the bumper needs a bit of a clean up with a mini file. Now I couldn't find my missus foam nail file in her makeup kit, so I'll clean up the front bumper another time. You can see that the protectors for the front shocks and shock towers fit nicely onto the vehicle. They will install nicely onto the 144001 as well if you wish. And here the newly printed tail wing is installed because as you know the stock tail wing gets shredded pretty quickly after a few hard crashes. <laughs> As JLB Cheetah owners may know, there's a little gap in the gearbox which may tend to allow dust or rocks to get inside. And we've had to use some sort of tape to cover the hole. Now, I found a 3D print file from the web and printed it up and it came out nicely. As I went to install it on the car, I decided to snap the bottom piece of it because I didn't want to loosen the screw at the bottom of the motor mount in case it slips and I wasn't in the mood to realign the meshing. <laughs> But this should be better than nothing. Now something that I've always wanted to do for my MN99 is to have some accessories or some items, camping items on the roof rack. I've been able to look for some files um, for an LPG gas bottle and a jerry can. Now at least I've got two items to start with. Um, so I printed out these two items and they came out fine. Um, I printed the LPG bottle using the sample white PLA filament and the jerry can using the black PLA plus filament just to get a bit of variation in colour. <laughs> I've only got two colours. Not too sure how I will secure these onto the roof tray. I've only got two items at the moment, but you know, it's a start and it's looking good. This is my last 3D print in my showcase. And I have to say, this is my most favorite as it serves physical functionality. I'm really enjoying my RC car, the ZD Racing ZTX-10. It's a 1 tenth scale druggy. It now reaches over 80 k's an hour and is a pretty awesome basher. I haven't been able to find an aftermarket wheelie for this druggy, and I believe it certainly could do with one. I found a 3D print file intended for a Traxxas E-Revo. It appears to have holes in the right places for me to attach it to the ZTX-10. I need to 3D print two sets of these and install them side by side at the rear of the ZTX-10. Now, according to the notes on this download, it says that the wheel works with 11mm bearings. According to the notes on this download, it says that the wheels work with 11mm bearings, which is perfect because I have a spare set of 144001 wheel bearings in my spare buckets and I've measured them up and they're 11mm. So, with a bit of trial and error, I just had to make sure that the inner ring for the inside of the bearing fit. I 3D printed two sets of these parts and they printed out nicely. The bearings were a very tight fit so they're in there securely I guess. I installed a bearing on both sides of each wheel. And the bars are attached to the insides of the body posts using bolts and nuts with a single long bolt going right through both wheelie bar arms and body posts with metal spaces in between to keep the, the body posts aligned. I was just plain lucky that I had these metal spaces in my garage. I have no idea where they came from. I also use a couple of these uh, spaces between the wheels and the bar arms.
you know, I think improvisation is key when it comes to RC modding. Now, let's see if this wheelie bar works. Well, that's it guys. We've come to the end of my 3D printed RC parts showcase and time to conclude this video. So I have to say I really enjoyed, like I genuinely enjoyed um, my first experience in 3D printing, particularly in printing these RC car parts. Now, there's so much more for me to learn with 3D printing. Uh, I haven't even learned to adjust the settings on the printer, except for adjusting the temperatures. Um, but there's so much more for me to learn printing with various filaments out there. I mean, there's like ABS, PET, TPE, just to name a few. And I don't even know what they stand for. I don't even know which to choose for what application. So that's all part of the learning process. Um, I'd probably have to upgrade some parts on the printer to be able to use all those other types of uh, filament. But who knows? I'd have to check. Um, if I didn't learn how to use Blender, then you'd probably be limited to what's downloadable on the web. Um, by the way, it's great that there's a massive community out there sharing models. Um, some are free, some are not. Um, it's still good for yourself to learn Blender or whatever CAD software um, you want to learn so that you can you know, make your own 3D models. Baby steps are a good start for me. Well guys, as far as whether or not I recommend 3D printing for your own RC car parts, I, I, I still don't know yet. I mean, it'll take some time really to know. Some people will probably argue it's better provided that you're using the correct filament and model designs, etc. While others might argue that factory manufactured parts are, are just better. Either way, guys, I'm really happy with my results so far today. Um, those are my first impressions that I just want to share with you. And uh, I look forward to learning more about 3D printing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you want to and uh, click the notification bell if you want to so that you get notified of upcoming content that I upload. Please leave a comment if you have any questions or if there's any suggestions you may have for me and I'll get back to your, your comments as soon as I can. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, happy RC and happy 3D printing. Alright guys, bye for now.